Wow, what an amazing year 2017 was. It was filled with adventure, learning, lots of growth, and most of all, fun. Two years since beginning my journey on social media, I've been overwhelmed at the support I've received. It was only December last year that the combined audience of General Gaming and my personal social media totaled 3,000. In October this year, it totaled 10,000. Social media has enabled me to meet gamers from all around the world, with different languages, backgrounds and cultures all meeting on the General Gaming community page. I wouldn't have been able to achieve everything I did this year without the help of a great team. In no particular order, I would like to say thank you to the following. Bryce Taylor, John Henry, John aka Sash Daniel, Daniel aka Mini Smee Monaghan, my family and all of my friends. Over the course of 2017, I assembled over 120 custom computers. From low-end towers for those on a budget, to high-end graphics monsters valued in the thousands. Originally a hobby, assembling gaming computers is turning into the best job ever. Thanks to my online community, General Gaming, I've also started getting inquiries from overseas. At the beginning of 2017, I began learning the basics of film and video on a budget. Of the 120 plus videos uploaded to my YouTube, three of my favorite have been the Reverse Series, three videos which demonstrate slow motion on a GoPro, Free Ride, which was my first video incorporating multiple camera angles and footage from a drone, which was filmed in four hours and edited in two, and lastly, Top 5. Now in its eighth week is a short news segment covering five trending news stories in the world of video gaming. These have all been great learning experiences. I have thoroughly enjoyed collaborating with other creators and growing an international audience. I would especially like to thank John Daniel, Mini Smee, John Henry and Bryce Taylor. In 2016 I began blogging and quickly discovered how poor my English skills were. I've always enjoyed reading, however, despite this, English has never been one of my strengths. Some 100 blogs and 35,000 views later, I feel my communication skills have dramatically improved, but I still have a lot to learn, including spelling, punctuation, grammar, and sentence structure. Recently, I have begun writing basic technical guides and very basic scripts, which I will increase in complexity over the coming months. In this project, I used a Raspberry Pi microcomputer to emulate six different retro video game consoles, which each play hundreds of games. I then 3D printed a case for the Raspberry Pi, which used styling cues inspired from Nintendo's classic NES from the early 1980s. I often take this project to parties as it's easy to set up and everybody can play the games. This was my second most popular project this year with the video and blog receiving over 2,000 views. Learning film and video on a budget is hard because often you have to do it by yourself. However, to make this easier, I found a way to be able to record myself without having to be behind the camera. To do this, I wired up an Arduino electronic kit and 3D printed the parts so I could create a 3D printed tilt and pan camera mount for my camera. However, I quickly found a better use for the 3D printed tilt and pan camera mount and combined it with a camera from my CCTV system. Once assembled, I then had the video run through some face recognition software which I then attached to the camera mount. The result is a 3D printed Arduino tilt and pan CCTV camera mount with face recognition software. Pretty cool. Back in 2015, I was fortunate enough to have a friend who purchased the Parrot AR drone. Some years later, drone technology has dramatically improved from range, altitude, and the quality of cameras. In early 2017, a close friend, John Henry, purchased his first drone, and after a few weeks, we began integrating footage from the drone into our videos. By October, we'd uploaded over 13 videos with drone footage, which had received over 2,000 views. Drones deliver savings compared to traditional methods of aerial photography, e.g. helicopters or planes. They're also safer, quieter, take less time to deploy. Drones can also operate in areas which are inaccessible by traditional methods. This was my most popular project in 2017. 
with the blog and video receiving over 4,000 views, I've been overwhelmed by the positive responses. Using my Raspberry Pi, which is a $50 microprocessor, plus 32-inch LCD TV and some free software, I've created and demonstrated a digital signage solution for small business. The Raspberry Pi enables users to easily configure and modify digital signage for their custom solution. The software then allows users to create whatever sort of menu, video or audio that they wish to display and market their business. Check out the blog below or the video for more information. As a geek, this is possibly my favourite project of the year. My introduction to 3D printing was back in 2015 when I was asked to help a team of enthusiasts that were attempting to build the Immove robot. Unfortunately, however, the project was uncompleted. Having finished my work on the sensors, I still wished I could have completed the project as a whole. In 2017, I reassessed the project and decided to complete a small section of the robot. A multi-axis arm, costing less than $100 and taking less than 10 hours, which used a combination of 3D printed components and cheap Arduino parts. While small, it still demonstrated the basics, and in the future I would like to combine my previous component with the back-end software and sensors with the robotic arm to enable it to interact. Elite Micro Gaming, or EMG for short, was created as a platform to display custom gaming computer systems for gamers. EMG consists of myself and three close friends who share our passion for gaming, technology and building computers. Our computer designs target niche markets with specific objectives, from small yet stylish microsystems to ridiculously overclocked water-cooled systems. Our first display model was the Alpha version 1, which we had on display at RF Land 59. Perth's largest cyber athletics tournament. Starting at $800, this small and stylish gaming cube is perfect for gamers on a budget and you can learn more about the Alpha V below. Over the coming months, our team is looking forward to releasing a number of different completely new concepts and designs. To help raise money for equipment and projects, we've teamed up with Zazzle to provide a growing range of apparel for gamers and geeks. You can follow EMG on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to get regular updates. 2017 was a huge year for my extended family. On my father's side, the whole family celebrated my Nana and Poppy's 50th wedding anniversary. Immigrating from the UK in the 1960s with four children, they are one of the many immigrant success stories. On my mother's side, my Bubba and Did celebrated their 85th and 90th birthdays respectively. They moved to Australia in the 1950s not speaking any English and are another immigrant success story. Plus, I was fortunate enough to catch up with so many of my amazing friends. Thank you again to my aunts, uncles, cousins, friends and their families for another memorable and fun year. Thank you for your support and love. I look forward to making more epic memories in 2018. So, that's my top 10 highlights for 2017. Once again, I am so grateful for everyone's support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I've created, I've learnt, I've travelled, I've grown, I've had adventures, I've met new people in different regions of the world I would have otherwise never met. I've reconnected with old friends and family and most of all, I've had fun. Thank you all. 2017 has been my best year ever. I would like to wish you all a happy and safe and most of all fun holidays. Thank you once again everybody. You can check out my highlight reel from 2016 up here. Check out all of my projects and blogs here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube down there.